What's up guys? I am Sarah Caney. Thank you so much for coming back and watching another awesome video. Today we are reacting to Spoiled Rich Kids Part 2. It's gonna be awesome, so be sure to like the video, show it some love, help my self-confidence. And if you are not already a part of our Socially Awkward family, be sure to subscribe below, it's the big red button. And follow me on Instagram, links are down below too. But before we get started, be sure to comment below what you plan on doing for Halloween this year. I am probably going to go to a party, but I don't have any friends, so I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but I'm going to try. But yeah, let's do this. She threatened to sue her parents because they bought her a new car instead of giving her money? What? Is this girl serious? Okay, I can't wait to read this one. My ex-best friend had a trust fund that her parents created for her college, but by the time she got to college, their wealth multiplied so she didn't even need the trust fund and her parents paid out of pocket. That must be nice. Of course she chose the most expensive private university in a different state where we met. Then she kept asking her parents for a car even though she lived on campus and she didn't really need transportation. Parents bought her a brand new car that she wanted with the trust fund money. She threw a major tantrum to her parents and accused them of stealing her money and she would sue them. After that, her mom let one of their family friends ride her horse once, just once. The girl doesn't want anything to do with a horse anymore because it betrayed her. I don't think she ever graduated. <laughs> wow, if I spend that much money on my kid to go to a really nice school, you're gonna graduate. I don't care what grade you get, you're finishing. <laughs> really, the horse betrayed you? Horses are nice, and I I'm sure she got like a really well-trained horse, so it's probably comfortable with anybody riding it. If this was my friend, I'd be like, you know what, if you don't want that car, give it to me. <laughs> give me some of that trust fund money. I can't believe this girl. That trust fund was your parents' money that they put into an account for you. That was their money. <laughs> so they can do what they want with it. He was embarrassed because his mom came to pick him up from school in the less expensive helicopter. When I was a teenager, I used to compete in athletic tournaments with schools. One time we traveled to this really elite private school where only the kids of rich folk went. <laughs> we had done a whole day of athletics and we were sitting on a grass verge eating our sandwiches, at which point a helicopter came in to land about 40 meters away. How far is that? How big's a meter? <laughs> Just as we were all marveling at the fact some kid was being picked up in a chopper, this snooty little tosser who was sitting near us exclaimed aloud to his friends, my mom's here to collect me and she's brought the crappy helicopter. She's so embarrassing. Really? She came to pick you up in the less expensive helicopter? It's a helicopter, kid. What is your problem? What if she had some Jack in the Box in there too? That would be the best present. <laughs> She threw five separate MacBooks out her window because she was angry. I went to school with a girl whose dad was a higher up at Apple. She was scared to use any form of public transportation and threw five separate MacBooks out her window because she was angry. Really? Your dad told you to take the bus so you threw all of your MacBooks out the window? I would slap this girl so hard. I need to be next to this girl next time she gets angry because maybe she'll just give me an iPhone 11 for free. I went to a pretty well-to-do university, so my friends were always saying crazy things. One of the craziest was, my family only buys black Ferraris. Red is tacky. Oh, I'm sorry, red is too tacky for you. It's a Ferrari. Come on, I love red cars. Really bright ones though. It has to be really bright and red and shiny. They look really nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, black Ferraris look really nice too, but what's wrong with red? Dang. A dude in my high school had bodyguards. Every day when he got to school, he would proceed to open the door of his brand new BMW, exit the car, and have one of said bodyguards tie his tie and then spit his gum out into said bodyguard's hand before coming into school because of a no chewing gum policy. <laughs> I think every kid has done that at least once or twice growing up. Your mom made you spit your gum out into her hand. That sounds so nasty. I would never do that. I'd be like, go spit it out in the trash can like a civil person. My cousin threw a fit because last year he got 37 gifts and this year he only got 36. <laughs> wow, 36? That's so much less. That is so many presents. On average, one person gets maybe like five gifts. Somewhere, you know, give or take around there. I am about to send your cousin to boarding school where they get no presents. 
During a holiday, my cousins came down to visit from New York. Two of them were younger. I think one was 11, the other was 15 at the time. Wow, you don't know your cousin's ages. <laughs> Neither do I. And we knew that their family had a decent amount of money. My grandmother, not having a lot to give and not knowing what these two boys could want, gave them money cards with $20 a piece inside instead of gifts. That's a lot of money. You could get so much Starbucks with that. <laughs> When they opened them, the younger one laughed loudly and the older one just looked disgusted before looking up at grandma's smiling face and saying, What the heck do you think we can buy with $20? You said that to your grandma? If I did that, everyone in the family would just walk up to me and slap me. That is so mean. You don't do that to your grandparents. These kids do not realize if those grandparents had not had kids and then those people did not have kids, you would not be here. Shoot, if you don't want those $20, I'll take it. That's 40. <laughs> hey guys, please help. Which car should I get? I want a lot, but daddy will only buy me one. This was posted to Facebook by a Tinder match. Yeah, I'd rather not go there. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't either. Wow, only one car. I feel so bad for this guy. You have to have multiple cars for one person to get by in life. <sighs> wow. You know what car you deserve? None. What kind of people are you trying to match with on Tinder? I bet that's not even Tinder. She went on sugardaddies.com. A kid in my graduating high school class was very wealthy. His parents bought him a Land Rover when he was 16 and he crashed it into a school bus. They bought him another Land Rover and he lost it street racing. Guess what? They bought him a Mercedes. What? Why do these kids have the most like non-caring parents ever? They just give them whatever they want and let them grow up into these crappy people. I've seen a school bus get hit by a car once, like the person in the car was texting and driving, so they hit like the front left wheel on the bus, and it's not pretty. Like that is a totaled car. If my kid did that, after the first car crash, I'd say, you know what? You're not even taking the bus. You're walking to school. You hitchhiking, fool. I used to work at a Starbucks in a very wealthy area. I'd frequently see teenage girls throw their change in the garbage can because they couldn't be bothered with carrying it around. At least throw it in the tip jar if you don't want it, seriously. There is someone else that probably really needs that money. Trust me, not too long ago, I was digging through the sofa for change. I had this much money. <laughs> so yeah, if you don't want your change, I'll take it. All of that change really adds up. Trust me, it, it can be a lot. Huh, <sighs> Starbucks is such a great place. I was an RA in college. That's like a room attendant. They watch over all the students. One of my residents was a rich freshman from Rhode Island. He lives on an island and takes a ferry into town. Anyways, his first week, he asked if there was fresh water available in the shower. I didn't understand what he meant, but apparently he didn't like showering with city water and didn't realize it was everywhere he went. I was so shocked and didn't know what to say that I suggested he use water bottles to clean him. Yeah, he didn't last long. <laughs> Seriously, you don't wash your... You don't shower with city water? What do you use then? Do you pay people to go up the mountain, get you some fresh river water, and then bring it down and pour it on you? That's a lot of effort. I went to a private school for high school, so we had a lot of those crashed one fancy car and daddy bought them a new one kind of stories. But I didn't know any of them personally. Then I went to a private college. Suddenly, most of my classmates seemed to be these kind of people. The worst by far was this guy my roommate dated for a while. He had a really nice car but had no idea how to take care of it. When it started to have trouble, he dropped it in front of a friend's house and had his parents buy him a new one. The car probably gave him an alert that said, hey, you need to air up your tires. And he was like, oh, it's broken. He also spilled a drink all over someone's computer. And when they got upset, he laughed and told them they could just get a new one. Well, maybe you can, but they can't. And he told several professors that he paid for an A, so he dang well better get it. <laughs> and he didn't understand why my roommate went home for a weekend to help her dad after surgery. He asked her why she didn't have people for that. Um, I'm the people. I want to go see my dad when he's in the middle of getting surgery. What is wrong with this guy? Why did you date him? What did you see in him at first? <laughs> I don't know if she was rich or just showing off, but on the bus one day, I heard this teenage girl on her cell phone saying, Daddy, I'm so proud of myself. I only spent $500 on clothes and jewelry. Aren't you proud of me? I usually spend so much more. <laughs> and everyone on the bus heard it. It was so cringeworthy. Yeah, I bet. 
Honestly, if I was rich, I would spend thousands of dollars on shopping sprees. I am a shopaholic, but I don't have any money to actually shop. It sucks. I was on a sold out flight back home from Vegas once, WestJet flight, so every seat is first class. This 18 year old princess was upset that she couldn't have three seats to herself so she could lay down. So she threw a tantrum and delayed the flight for 15 minutes. She refused to sit next to anyone, so she grabbed her stuff and left to a round of applause. Then they delayed the flight more to get her bags from underneath the plane. You little drama queen. I mean, that'd be really nice to have three seats just to lay down. <laughs> but it's first class, shouldn't it already be comfortable enough? Get a different flight if you want like a whole luxurious suite to yourself. Or just get your own jet. <laughs> Once when I was at a camp, me and a few other kids were playing a game. Kids from a different part of the camp came over and told us to leave. The heck? We replied that we were there first. One of them replied, yeah, but does your dad have a helicopter? What does that have to do with anything? Who cares about your helicopter? You know what I would say? I'd say, oh, do you have a bruise on your eye? And he'd be like, no, but I have a helicopter. And I'd be like, no, wrong, you have a bruise. Bam! Was that a bad joke? Was it too long? Yeah, I suck. Sorry. You know what? I don't care about your stupid helicopter. I would just walk away at that point. I'd be like, yeah, and who cares about your stupid helicopter? Blech. And that is it for reacting to Spoiled Rich Kids Part 2. I swear these kids make me so mad. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you loved the video. Be sure to give it a like and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram. Links are down below, as always. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. So I hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you beautiful people next time.